Hi everyone, Alexa here from the blog theduvalhomestead.com where I write about farm to table recipes and homemade natural living and today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough brioche rolls with chocolate chips. You can make these for Easter or just your average Sunday afternoon or weekday. They make a great breakfast treat. The brioche is a really decadent type of bread. It basically has a lot of butter and eggs. And in this case, I put in some chocolate chips. So it's really delicious if you are into bread making. It's a great alternative to your traditional loaf. And it's a little more fancy for an occasion like Easter or something like that. So this recipe isn't particularly hard. It's very similar to making regular bread. However, you do need an extra day compared to my regular sourdough loaf. So if you're new to sourdough entirely, I walk you through how to make your own sourdough starter. It's very easy with flour and water. You can make that at home and then with that starter, you can then make bread and things like pizza crust and bagels and pie and of course brioche. So check that out first if you don't have a sourdough starter already because that's what we're gonna be using to make this bread rice. Sourdough brioche is doughy and chewy with a crisp exterior and a super soft interior. Makes a great gift for family members. So definitely save this recipe for whenever you're ready to make it. I'll leave a link below to the recipe card that you can just download and print off and you can store it for later. Also at the link below, there will be a sample timeline. So for example, if you want to eat these on a Sunday morning, I'll walk you through what time each day to do all of these things. It doesn't actually matter the time, it just more matters more the time of day. So example, in the morning you do this, in the afternoon you do this. Don't get too obsessed with how many hours in between. It'll work just fine as long as you stick to the general schedule. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so on day one, you're going to make your leaven. Now, leaven is basically like your sourdough starter, only it's got a different proportion of water and sourdough starter and flour. So for your leaven, you're going to combine sourdough starter, water, and flour. The exact measurements for everything will be at the link below in the recipe card. So on the first day, you want to feed your starter. Now this is assuming that your starter's been sitting in the fridge and it's not active already. If it's already active and ready to go, you can skip the feeding and just make the leaven. But you wanna start in the morning taking your starter out of the fridge, feeding it, let it sit for, for the rest of the day until it is active and bubbly. You know it's ready to go when it passes the float test. You've heard about me talk about this on my channel before, but I'll show you. Basically, if you take a spoonful of starter in some water and it floats, that's how you know that it's got enough air bubbles in it to activate the bread. So then you're gonna make the leaven by combining sourdough starter, flour, and water. Cover the lemon with some plastic wrap and a tea towel and let that sit out. The next day, so day two, add all of the wet ingredients except for the butter and the flour to a stand-up mixer. You're gonna add your lemon, honey or sugar, milk, salt, and four eggs. Whisk those together with a fork first before you add your flour. Then add the flour and use a mixer with a dough hook for a couple of minutes until the dough is formed. You know it's formed when it will be coming off the sides and it'll be a very consistent looking dough. Then you're gonna just transfer your dough to a clean countertop or a cutting board. Cut the butter into cubes and incorporate the butter slowly into the dough with your hands a few chunks at a time. You wanna knead and slap the dough on the counter for about five minutes. It's gonna be very, very sticky, but just keep kneading and it will come together.
Then you want to transfer the dough to a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Then let this dough sit for several hours until it has doubled in size. And then you're going to do a bulk ferment overnight in the fridge. Okay, on day three, you're going to bring that dough out of the fridge and let it sit for an hour if you can, just to come up to room temperature. Transfer the dough to a clean surface again. Then cut it in half with a sharp knife or a bread cutter, and then cut each half in half again and half again. So this is so that you can get eight rolls. Roll each piece out into a rectangular log shape about five inches long. You might sprinkle some flour here to make the rolling a little bit easier, but just don't go too heavy on the flour because you really want that sticky dough so that it can be very chewy on the inside. Next, punch in the chocolate chips in the dough and roll it up lengthwise and then fold it down so that it creates a ball. Repeat for all eight pieces. I am using an eight inch cake dish here, but you could also use a bread loaf pan. Place the balls inside of the tray and cover with a tea towel and let that sit for several hours until it has double in size. You'll also want to put some chocolate chips on the top of the brioche rolls. At least that's what we do because we love the chocolate part of this recipe. That's my favorite part. Cover and let this sit for a few hours until doubled in size. Now you might notice when you uncover it that the chocolate chips have kind of poked out, so I'm just poking them back in here. Then you want to take an egg and whisk that up with a fork and use a brush to spread it over the buns. This creates that really delicious glaze on the top. Then you're going to cook this at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. Now, it happens often for the top of the brioche to get very dark brown. You do want a dark brown color, but if it's getting more black, then you can put some foil over the top so that the top is not burning, but it's still cooking on the inside. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for this sourdough chocolate chip brioche recipe. I hope you enjoy it and maybe make it for Easter or a holiday you have coming up or just your average weekday, which is what I'm doing here. I can't get over how cute the brioche looks in this new vintage bowl that I just found at the thrift store. I think I will have one of these and serve one to my husband now because we've been waiting all day to eat them. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Every week I post a new farm-to-table recipe and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.